What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech once again, and today I have the five settings for Windows 11 for mining cryptocurrency that you want to make sure to change and update before you start mining on Windows 11. This is going to be especially important if you have recently updated from Windows 10 to make sure that all of those settings carried over. Of course, if you're looking for settings for Windows 10, we did that video like five years ago, but it's still up to date and relevant and you can check it out up here. Let's hop into it right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go-to centralized exchange for liquidating my crypto assets. With their Crypto.com Visa debit card, I can load up my mined Ethereum to pay for power and other operating costs quickly while earning up to 8% cash back. In addition to the Visa debit card, there are additional fiat options including wire transfers to easily receive your profits. Crypto.com also offers additional services including trading and even staking to earn additional revenue revenue on your investments. Join 10 million plus users buying and selling 100 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost by using my affiliate link in the description for a $25 funding bonus or enter referral code SOAT at sign up for the same bonus. Remember, cryptocurrency investment comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Welcome back. So I'm going to bounce back to the test bench here and we are going to get going. Okay, so to make this super simple, I do have a notepad and these will be down in the description below for you to check out. But first of all, you're going to want to turn off Windows Update. Now on your keyboard, you should have a button for the Windows key and then of course R. So if you do that key plus R, it will open up the run. Alternatively, you can click the search button and search for run straight from there on Windows 11. And then from there, you're going to type in services.msc and click OK. At this point, you're going to want to scroll down until you find the Windows Update option. And that should be right down here. Then you're going to right click and say stop. And then you will right click, say properties and select disabled, then click apply and okay. This is going to be important to make sure that the system is not updating during mining. And so if you want 24 seven stability, you wanna make sure that Windows Update is not randomly rebooting your PC. Hence why we go ahead and turn it off. Now, once you need to go ahead and update or if you're looking forward to an update, you can come back in here re-enable it or manually start it, run Windows updates, and then shut it down from there. Next, we want to adjust for best performance. So at this point, we're just gonna click the search button and say adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and then click into here. We are going to want to select the option for adjust for best performance, click apply, and then click okay. Now, so go ahead and stay in this option because the next thing that we're going to want to take a look at is setting the page file. And we're going to be setting the page file to 4,500 megabytes times the GPU count. In this particular rig, we have two GPUs. The number for 4,500 megabytes comes specifically from the size of the DAG for Ethereum. And then you multiply that out times the amount of GPUs in the system. For example, on this particular system, it would be around 9,000 megabytes because there are two GPUs in the system. So just multiply that out, but you're gonna click the advanced tab, click change, uncheck the box for automatically manage, click the custom size, and then just type in the size that you wish and click set and okay. At this point, it will say that you need to reboot your PC. I'm gonna say, go ahead and reboot once you have configured everything else. So at this point, you can click apply and okay and we will move on to the next step. Number four, changing the power plan to high performance. Now getting to control panel is not as simple as right clicking anymore, unfortunately. So you can still search for the control panel at this point. And of course there are the shortcut keys there available too. But once in here, you're gonna to want to click the power options 
and then you are going to want to click the show additional plans, select the option for high performance and click change plan settings. At this point, you can have it turn off the display automatically, but I would recommend obviously putting the computer sleep to never because you will be mining cryptocurrency and you don't want it to stop at any time. From here, you're going to click the change advanced power settings, and then you're going to scroll down to find the section for PCI Express and link state power management. Ensure that this setting is on off because if it is on on, it can shut down your PCI devices randomly to save power. And in that case, it would stop your mining. So ensure that that is set to off. So that pretty much covers the primary settings. The next option is not necessarily a primary setting, but it's something you should do to make sure that if your system is shut off at any given time, that once it reboots, it starts mining automatically. So to do this, you're gonna put your miner batch file into the startup folder. To do this, you're gonna hit Windows key plus R or search for run within, of course, the search options. And at that point, you will have your run box. You are going to type shell colon startup in the run box, box and click OK. And you will have the startup programs folder here. Now, at this point, you'll want to open up your mining folder so you can right click File Explorer, open up another session of File Explorer, and find your mining batch file. So we're going to go to my miners, LOL miner 1.31. We're going to say we want it to do ETH and we are going to basically create a shortcut here at this point. So right click and then you had to do that little extension and then create the shortcut and then just drag the shortcut over to the startup program. At this point you can reboot the PC. And at this point, we're just going to log back in and it will begin to run LOL Miner automatically. So there you go. There are the five settings for mining cryptocurrency on Windows 11. If there are any additional settings that you think should be mentioned, please let me know in the comment section below and I will go ahead and tag any that I find relevant. So definitely, if you're checking this video out later, make sure you check the comment section for other ideas to help improve mining performance on Windows 11. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Tuesday. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Gamersups. Gamersups provides a healthy alternative to sugary energy drinks with delicious flavors like Misfits Melon or my favorite Blue Raz. I use the Gamersups as an alternative to support my active lifestyle outside of content creation. Caffeine free options are great for late night gaming after the kids have gone to bed. And my favorite part about Gamersups is that they accept cryptocurrency. And for a limited time, when you purchase a tub with cryptocurrency, you will receive a Bitcoin shaker. Follow the affiliate link in the description and don't forget to use code SOAT at checkout. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.